All right, time to check out what's going to be released tomorrow. The patch notes are out. So uh, let's take a, a look. I've heard that it's a pretty big patch tomorrow, so let's see. New content, Nanocore Precise Disassembly Service. Added a preview interface when disassembling a Nanocore to show the amount of materials obtainable. The material return rate for standard disassembling, which was previously 68 to 80% of the return base, decreases along the core level, has been adjusted to a fixed 70% times return base. Note the return base is slightly lower than the server average and not the actual amount spent on each core upgrade. When disassembling, you can choose the precise assembly service, which can return approximately 90% of the materials. The precise disassembling service is priced at 1000 hour due to market regulation requirement. It has been temporarily converted to ISK. This price will adjust according to the current market exchange rate between Plex and ISK. With the current price set at 10 billion ISK, it is recommended to use the precise disassembly service for cores above level 4. Intelligent Nanocore Repackaging You can now repackage Intelligent Nanocores, which will return some materials and a basic Nanocore purple in the process. The material return ratio is the same as the base Nanocore i.e. 70-90% of Tesseract Star Core and some upgrades, some of the upgrade materials. Basic Nanocore can be changed for other Nanocores of the same series using the exchange function. Yanyun Capital Ship Remote Armor System Refactoring, a special rig that can refactor the Lucent Moon class armor system and remote armor system, in addition to adjusting the Lucent Moon class for armor superiority it also gains comprehensive armor repair bonus, plus 100% to remote armor repair effect, plus 500% to repair drone effect. How to obtain through industrial manufacturing or store? Heavy Fighter Siege Modification System, a special modification system that enhances the combat capabilities of supercarriers, capable of increasing the loading speed of fighters and enhancing the effects of the ship's defense and cover modules. Installing this rig will significantly boost the ship's mass and thruster while reducing the inertia modifier. Maneuverability remains unchanged and impact resistance is improved. When the core module is activated, the supercarrier will absorb some of the damage taken by its fighters. Training in core module operation skills can enhance the damage absorption effect, but it will only take effect once the super rig is installed. That's actually interesting. So we have a new rig for super capitals, for super carriers. Tsunami disrupt lands after several empires unveiled their own version of the Annihilator Doomsday weapon. The Caldery pioneers in, the f in this field have once again introduced an even more advanced Annihilator Doomsday weapon. This model significantly improves the firing capabilities while moving and offers enhanced power and range, but it also requires more energy. All right, that's interesting. Tactical Defense Neural Response Implant An implant designed to boost the capsule's neural responsiveness. This device differs from typical cybernetic implants. Instead of being active triggered, it passively enhances the capsule's physical capabilities and ship command skills. Depending on the placement location, this implant can be activated concurrently with the 16 existing types of active cybernetic implants. Due to the technological constraints, the neural response implant currently cannot be equipped with general units. The first release of the tactical defense neural reaction implant, which comprehensively enhances the control over the ship's defense system. Tactical defense level 1 enhances control over the defense system, boosts ship shield and armor strength as level increase, accelerates repair speed and enhances resistances to capacity warfare and weapon distribution. Weapon disruption. Predict trajectory level 15 enhances awareness of projectile weapons such as cannons and railguns, boost ship maneuverability and evasion capabilities against such attacks, making it easier for enemies to miss. Energy resistance increases damage resistance to energy weapons such as lasers and decomposers, reduces damage from such sources and increases ship's capacitor recharge rate. Explosive resistance level 30 increases damage resistance to explosive weapons such as missiles and bombs, reduces damage from such sources and reduces the ship's signature radius. 
targeted defense, level 30, using ship, uh, using shield and armor defense systems for targeted defense against drones and fighters, reduces damage from such sources and increases the ship's scan resolution. Tactical countermeasure level 5 offense is the best defense, significantly enhances control over the ship's radar, turret, and missile and drones. How to obtain limited time can be obtained through the store and of course uh, Centrum Anomalies, okay that's going to be, so basically a new implant that will enhance the defenses, uh, not quite sure I'm a fan of having a implant being here to, you know, boost defenses, but we will see how that will turn out. It doesn't seem to be that broken, but it could be uh, maybe different from what, from what we see here. It doesn't seem to be too broken, but we will see. Middle drag filament. Added signal 10 and noise 10 filaments, which can be used by up to 10 users. The Yita market has listed four varieties of the special filament, including signal noise, expedition, and frontline series, priced between 20 and 200 million ESC. Recommended new arrivals. The new disruptive land summit has been released alongside the introduction of the land turned lucky draw. Okay, so basically. Uh, Boxes, uh, neural implant boxes, compiler boxes, buzzer returned, okay, not something that I'm particularly interested in, to be honest. I was never really a fan of the box stuff. Implants now available for regular sales. Regular sales has resumed selling implants, now offering a new selection of advanced and standard implant option supply box, limited to 5 purchases per month. Now, will this be available from, for ESC or will this be available only via Plex we, or, or our? We will see. Uh, we will see. I think this is also our stuff. ESC Exchange Store now open. The ESC Exchange Store is now open, featuring a variety of items. Capsules can use ESC to purchase, to make purchases. Okay. Items offered in the first edition in free skill points. Ship skins and cryptid safe general decoder, general info and another source, secret traffic in decoding credentials and other items. There are some cup coupons as well. We will see how that will go. The daily special point exchange, there's also a sleeper course, okay. Maybe maybe going to be interesting, I don't know. Balance updates. Structure warfare due to the decreased threat the way secret capital ship fleet has withdrawn from the front lines. In all systems within the Ethereum reach, the way secret strike fleets have been adjusted to two standard ship fleets. Uh, adjusted the enemy titles for way seekers in Ethereum reach, now the remaining enemies only attack structures and are called annihilators. When operating a capsular outpost, it is not possible to use implants. So that's interesting. Corporation front and outpost maintenance time per week reduced from 2, two hours to 1.5 hours. Capsular outpost minimum maintenance time reduced from 15 minutes to 12 minutes. Cooperation tech fuel consumption reduced from 2.5% per level to 4% per level for Citadel maintenance. System upgrades, Cooperation tech resistance bonus per level increased from plus 2.5 to plus 5% for shield hardeners, armor hardening systems, and hole reinforcement systems. The anti black target is adjusted to be visible across the entire system. Star Trust now include a new filter to display all the anti black targets in the universe. Color, ba color recorded based on cooperation relations. Ships. Praxis. EHP increased by 9.4%, and strength increased from 20 to 24%, insurance points reduced by 25%. Praxis 2. EHP increased to 11 .1, increased by 11.1%, center strength increased from 22 to 30, Bargast scan resolution increased from 110 to 120, Bomber 2 high slot reduced from 4 to 3, damage bonus increased from 10 to 20. Maybe they're preparing to add bomb launchers, that's why bombers are losing a high slot. That lost high slot perhaps is going to be used for a bomb launcher, would be fun. Bomber 3, high slot reduced from 4 to 3, damage bonus increased from 15, 7.5 to 25 and 15%. CNC removed, warp speed bonus, base warp speed increased from 1.75 to 2, missile and turret damage bonus increased from 25 to 100%, EHP increased by 4.4%, Chimera and Archon, new bonus, light fighter damage, plus 5%. Nidhogur and Thanatos, damage bonus increased from plus 5 to 7.5%. Team Combat removed the effect, Mothership Defense Module Activation Time, plus 10, 
10 and 10 seconds to increase module usage flexibility, increased activation time is generally a negative effect. Mothership defense methods adjusted the effect from Mothership defense module activation time plus 10, 10 and 10 seconds to minus 10, minus 10 and minus 10 seconds. In effect, fuel consumption minus 20%, minus 20% and minus 25% stack method is multiplicative, all right? Ship modes, okay, let's see what they done with the ships again. Carrier mid slot plus one base scan resolution increased by 100% and removed its special mode, cannot fit network sensor array. Force auxiliary mid slot plus one and removed its special mode, cannot fit logistic support module, max lock targets increased from 7 to 8, base scan resolution increased to the same level as carriers of the same faction, Lucent Moon adjusted to align with CNC, added network sensor array, increased the increase in the scan resolution by 200%, same activation strength as before the adjustment. Activation time reduced to 10 seconds, sensor strength plus 25% and plus 25% to the effectiveness of remote repairs received. Added logistic support module, scan resolution adjusted to 200%, uh, the activation time reduced to 10 seconds and the signal strength plus 25%. Other effects remain the same as logistic support mode. New modules can be purchased directly from the market with ISK priced at 200 million ISK. How long is this? Oh my god. Oh my. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna stay here for a little longer, I guess. Modules. Increase the default market valuation for items such as plaques, burst projectors, swap core, stabilizer, and inertia stabilizer. Sentry drone adjusted to be able to launch attacks against targets outside of its range. Unify the tracking speed display units for drones and standard threats. This the display tracking speed values for drones with will significantly increase, but the actual performance will remain the same. The reload time displayed in the fighter description of fighters have a reload time of one second times number of reloads is now hidden. Clocking device tech level restriction removed. Now continues 100 fuel. Oh no, they. Ruined cloaks. Wonderful. Wonderful. So now clocking device will consume fuel. Logic thrown out of the window. Beautiful. Consumes 100 fuel every five seconds and the future remain in the future remains the same. Alright, so disruption lands max and velocity limit while activate is increased from plus it is increased from five meters per second to ten meters per second. Yeah, new cavalry ship armor system refraction, new bonus, armor resistance plus twenty percent. Fix the issue where artillery cover full solo damage and tracking bonuses were in ineffective. Damage plus 20%, tracking speed plus 25%, reduce the damage stability of full salvo against high speed small ships. Market. To promote market as action, ensure standardized trading behavior, and minimize contract fraud and illegal transactions, the following adjustments have been implemented in market. Initial broker's handling fee tax is still adjusted from 8. 15 to 1 and 20%. Accounting no longer addresses the listing fees. Sales tax adjusted from 5 to 8%. When placing market orders, the maximum item price can be set up to 9 trillion, with the highest listing fee per order capped at 1 billion ISK. When listing a capital ship market, the price can only be set within the range of 60% to 150% of the material cost estimation, otherwise, the market will refuse to list it. For CNC and Lucent Moon classes, it's 50 to 200 percent. Members who have joined the corporation for less than 30 days cannot donate insurance points. Construction production symmetry decryptor time consumption adjusted from minus 10 to minus 20 percent. Production uh, production actual dec decryptor time consumption adjusted from 50 to 40 percent. Reverse actual decryptor time consumption adjusted from plus 50 to plus 40 percent. Reverse accelerant decryptor success rate adjusted from minus 5 to plus 5%. The skill chip manufacturing process has been upgraded to now use general chips and data banks. Thanks to the enhanced standardization, manufacturing efficiency has improved, including manufacturing time minus around 25%, and its requirement minus 25%, data bank and computing chips minus 25%. Future research will further explore the application of general experimental data in skill chip manufacturing. Industrial module blueprint, the number of the cryptos required for reverse engineering is reduced by approximately 14, 17, and 28 percent. 
And well, there are some bug fixes that you can check out as well. Now, I have mixed feelings about this little update here because on the other hand, it's okay. It's, you know, it looks good. On the other hand, uh, why add a implant to, you know, why lock stuff behind an implant? I'm not a fan of that. And I'm not a fan of the cloaking device now using fuel. Logic thrown out of it. Imagine you requiring fuel for a module that uses capacitor in order to cloak your ship. These are the th two things that I kind of don't like about this. But we will see what will happen when this is released tomorrow. Uh, I'll obviously try out the, the new ships. I mean, I mean the, the chain ships. I'll try everything out. And uh, I'll, I guess I'll give my definitive opinion when I actually try this thing out. But but yeah, that will be it for uh, for this little update. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments down below. And with that being said, stay safe, play safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.